Hey everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do Leopold's maneuvers. Just like everything else, we're gonna wash our hands, provide patient privacy, and then verify our patient using two identifiers, name and date of birth. Then we're gonna to explain to our patient that we're going to be doing Leopold's maneuvers. Mrs. Johnson, I'm going to be doing Leopold's maneuvers, which means I'm going to be placing my hands on your stomach to figure out the position of the baby. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. All right, let's do it. You've verified your patient, you've made sure she's emptied her bladder, and you've gotten her into a flat position with maybe a little hip wedge underneath so she's not perfectly flat. Now we can do Leopold's maneuvers. The first maneuver, you're going to take your hands and make like a little triangle, right? You're gonna be facing mom's face and you're gonna be feeling the top of the fundus, okay? So feeling for either baby's head or baby's bottom. A head feels big and hard and round and their little booty feels like squishy and tiny. So what do we feel first? That's the first step. The second step, now we're gonna be looking for baby's back. So we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna place them on the sides. So one hand here supporting, the other hand kind of feeling the side, feeling for the back. Then we'll do the opposite side, feeling for the back. The back should feel flat and long. So what side is the back on? This is important to know because this is where we're gonna place the heart rate monitor on baby's back, on the side where baby's back is. That's when we're gonna get the most accurate heart rate tracing. So that's step two, putting your hands on each side and looking for the back. Now step three, we're going to see if it's engaged. So if the head is down, is the head engaged in the pelvis? We're gonna make an L with our fingers and then we're gonna go down here close to the symphysis pubis and we're gonna see if we can lift baby's head up. If we cannot lift baby's head up, that means baby is engaged. If we can and we can kind of move it around, then baby is not engaged. And then the final, fourth step of Leopold's maneuvers is we're going to actually turn around. So we've been facing mom this whole time. Now we're going to be looking at mom's feet, okay? And then we're going to take our hands and then we're going to kind of go all the way back. So we're going to start from the bottom and just kind of feel up like this. Verifying positioning of the baby. Now we can cover mom up. It was that quick and easy. We can get the heart monitor on her so we can listen to baby's heart rate and we're good to go. So that was my video on how to do Leopold's maneuvers. Pretty simple, it doesn't hurt mom, it doesn't hurt baby, it doesn't take long. You just need to make sure that mom has emptied her bladder, she's in the right position, and that you are doing the four steps in the correct order. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If not, I'll see you on the next one.